folks. Uh, today I decided to make a little video on how to uh, set the, the pitch on a plow blade for you, for a garden tractor or, or a farm tractor or whatever the case may be to get it to to work nice in your garden. Um, so today I'm I'm going to set that right there. Basically, with this one, all it takes is a wrench and a board of the right thickness to to set the uh, to the tractor at the right angle and so on to simulate it being in the dirt. So uh, today, for this little tractor, I'm not I'm not really expecting to plow any deeper than what this is right here for this little guy. And um, so the first thing I want to do is park park the wheel up on top of that board to get it to simulate when um, the right right wheel will be in the in the furrow. So. Uh, um, I'll come back with the with this sitting up like that. Okay, now um, I got this thing uh, set up on that board to simulate the tractor being one wheel on top of the ground and the other one down in the previous furrow that's been theoretically cut. And uh, what you're aiming for is for this right here to be flat on the ground. Because this right here sets your depth, how deep it goes. And um, I wanted to plow somewhere around this deep or maybe a little deeper so this will get me started you know you can always tweak on the adjustment as you're in the garden and uh, plowing and uh, get it to where you want it to be from there but it's kind of gets, gets you in the ball game so uh, in the case see here I'm about an inch off the ground and the back here that means this thing's going to want to bite in deeper and keep on biting in deeper if you notice I'm going to put the clutch on so this don't roll but uh you know, as you change height, this angle right here goes, you know, gets deeper and lower. So as this thing would get into the ground, it would get, it would eventually get so deep that that would uh, go flat. You can see it changes a little bit. So a little deeper than there and it would be uh, wanting to kind of even out. And that's too deep for this tractor. This thing would just sit there and stop and spin the wheels if you tried to get a bite into the ground that deep. So uh, I'm going to, but starting out with the thing on the, um, with it level on the ground, it probably would take the first pass pretty nice. But I'm going to do uh, a couple passes with it and show how this thing uh, is responding right now. The way it's set. This is the way I bought the bought this plow blade for this uh, for this tractor. I found it from somebody and bought it where I, where it was set when I bought it. And there's a previous video of me uh, doing my parents' garden, and it was set at about like this. But their garden is really soft dirt, so but I was always pulling up on the handlebars because it wanted to go too deep. So uh, in any case, I'm going to do a couple passes and uh, show what it does in my yard now. I'm going to do a, tear up a little patch in my, in my yard. And then um, I'm, then I'm, for that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to set this level and take a few more passes and show how it's acting. And I thought maybe after that, that I would um, set it where the bottom's dragging and this is up, if it'll let me. You know, this is going to get into this at some point. We'll see if I can do that and see how it tries to work there for a pass. So, um, I'll get to it. Okay, so now you can, uh, 
I uh, have this turned from the other angle, or the other side of the tractor, so you can see it better. And um, I got it sitting back up on the same board. You can see how high this is sitting. This is up to my second knuckle almost on uh, on the pitch. Like I said, this right here is the way I the way I bought it, where it was set at. So I don't know if it would have been on basically the same tractor. It probably would have had uh, they probably would have had some trouble with it. So in any case, this uh, this bar across here sets the pitch of it. It pivots on this point, on this bolt. And um, just by turning these these two nuts right here, you can get your pitch adjusted. Now I had already moved this thing around, so I kind of know where it, where this thing's going to be happy again. And see here, I moved this thing about three eighths of an inch because I I filed with this thing both ways, and then put it back here for this video. But you can see by turning these two nuts right here and changing this adjustment, that's moving. The back end's coming down. You notice now this right here is flat on the ground and that's flat on the ground. So let's take it out in the, out in the yard and try it again. Okay, so there's a number of good rock, good sized little rocks in there. It's kind of holding the show up down towards the end. That's why the tractor's stopping. But it's plowing pretty nice. I'm going to take another pass or two. And I'm going to go back over and put it on there. I'm going to set it, set it where it's uh, pitch up a little bit if I can. And I'll see what that does.
Okay, so here is what you want it to look like. Um, see that right there is sitting sitting right down on the ground. It's not pitched up in the air. Before mine, when I first was playing with it, it was pitched up in the air about, you know, what, two knuckles. That's about almost about right around two inches. But the back end was pitched up in the air. It wanted to just go straight down to China and uh, stall the tractor out, you know, stop it and make it just sit there and spin the wheels. But um, as you imagine here, you know, you see the tractor. It is sitting with one wheel down in the previous furrow and the other wheel over here is sitting on top of the ground still. So the tractor is pitched sideways. Um, yeah, you can see back there, the, my, my house there, the, the camera is in line with the pitch of the house, or the, ang the house being level. You can see how lean to the right side the tractor is. So there's one wheel down in the furrow. So um, that's what you're aiming for. Now when I when I play with this thing some more and pitch the blade up, it's not going to want to dig in for anything. So I'm going to finish. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it in. I'll restart back in this furrow with it pitched up and see how long it lasts before it tries to climb right out of the ground. So I'll be back. Okay, so I got this thing sitting back up on the board here again. I'm going to set this thing uh, pitch up. Um, I got my nut already worked forward. You know, this is rusty. I made, wanted to make sure that it would turn that far without any trouble. And um, I'm going to pitch this thing upward now. Um, it's starting to get dark on me here for a thunderstorm rolling in. Rainy weather, at least. So uh, hopefully I make it to this, through this. Okay, so this thing right here is probably about a about a half inch off of the ground. This tip right here. Now maybe I'll go a little higher. Yes. I don't know, I can get my finger underneath it, so it's a little more than a half inch. I'll just put this nut back and uh, see what this does now in the same uh, furrow. Okay, now you can see here, as I went along, you know, I started about there, and then uh, as it went further and further, it just kept going shallower and shallower and shallower. And so it was just scraping on top of the ground. And that pretty much right there does make the difference in uh, the pitch of your blade.
Okay, so this is the, the second pass with the pitch set a little high. And uh, as you can see, here it is. It's uh, It went about an inch and a half deep, clear across here. And then apparently the ground uh, changed its slope a little bit, and it, uh, it gets really shallow there. And it's only about an inch deep. So uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to reset this thing to... Uh, Slightly more, er, slightly more aggressive than where it was now, but not quite as aggressive as uh, sitting it just completely flat. And then I'll probably finish up this whole little spot here before a storm rolls through and actually does try to rain. So I'll be back to the uh, back to the board in the driveway. Okay, one more time. So. Uh, Back this off. Now you know I've only ever traveled on this thing through the through the course of this video. My extremes has been probably about three quarters of an inch in travel on this bar. So it's not really a, a whole lot to get a to get a decent sized change. You know, when I first did it it would this thing would sink in and stop the tractor, and in the last bit here, it would uh, only cut about an inch or an inch and a half deep, so uh, made some uh, some good changes on this in uh, just a short distance of the, the bolt. Probably about where uh, where I'd like it to be. It's sitting just about level on the ground. This end right here is touching, and this is just slightly off the ground a little bit. So this right here is going to rub a mark in the ground, anyways. It's going to sink a little bit, depending on your soil. So each kind of dirt might be a little different in the way it acts. But um, now I'm going to take it back. I'm going to do the rest of it. I think this way. It ought to cut pretty nice. So I'll take it back and see.
Okay, so that about does it for this video. Here you can uh, can see where it was going. It's a little shallower than it was when I had it adjusted close the first time, and uh, that's fine for what I'm doing. Um, so in any case, I hope this uh, helped and gave you gave everybody an idea of how to adjust their plow to get it where they would like it to be. So uh, I guess I'll see you I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm gonna keep on playing with my little old tractor. So have a great day and see you next time.